Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday looked like a great day to make some coins in the FC24 market, but the market had other ideas. Out of nowhere, we have some very popular meta cards down 20 to 25% and more, but why are these cards dropping? That's what I want to talk about today, and also, is it going to continue to drop with the high hopes of our first Icon Upgrade SBC of the year? That Max 87 Icon Pack. A lot of people anticipate it coming out today. We'll talk about that and how it might it impact this game. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up as always. Subscribe if you're new. To start today's video off on a bit of a somber note, we do have to recognize what happened yesterday with Bobby Charlton. RIP as he passed away. Very unfortunate to lose an icon of the game and a legend in real life, of course. But do yourself a favor and go check out some of this guy's highlights and clips he's an absolute monster deserving of this icon card for sure now i do want to say a lot of times when you see stuff like this you're like oh people go out and buy the card because they want to make profit off of it the card player price spikes do usually happen when this sort of thing happens because you know a mixture of a lot of things right yes people do it out of wanting to make coins off the card and you know, I think that's a pretty poor reason to try to go buy, like, Charlton's card yesterday. I don't even know if many people were able to make profit off of him because his price went up for, like, an hour and then it came back down. And to be completely honest, what it also does is it brings kind of just attention to him as well. Like, I remember last year when Peleja passed away and during FIFA 23, I was like, man, I really wish I could go up buy a Pele card off the market. I didn't have enough coins at the time to afford any of his versions. I really wanted to use Pele in, in a way of just like honoring him a little bit, right? So who am I to judge why people are buying cards off of the market? But just so you're aware, uh, Charlton's card's not going out of packs. He will still be in packs. That's how it works. Uh, but uh, yeah, it is unfortunate to hear of the news. But go watch some YouTube clips because that man did know how to put the ball in the back of the net. That is for sure. So that was some news yesterday that I wanted to cover, of course. I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of that. But let's get to yesterday's content inside of the menus and I had a trouble finding this Javi Simons SBC when I first looked, when I logged on today, because I was like, where is it at? I think EA hit it in the back of SBCs because they knew that not a lot of people were going to like it. Big name player, right, in the Bundesliga now, Leipzig links. There was a lot of potential for this SBC, but EA kind of under-delivered. The card stats are exactly as leaked. They're okay. They're not amazing, but the price is the problem. 85 and 86 rated squads for this it just feels a little bit overpriced for a card that right now probably doesn't fit into a lot of our teams. Unless you're a Bundesliga fan that really wants to craft this. Because let's be honest, technical uh, playstyle plus, he can play on the right, on the left, and center attacking mid. It actually looks like a decent card. But the stats are maybe a little bit low. The 90 pace is nice. The dribbling is good. But the passing and dribbling, a little bit off. Um, or passing and shooting, sorry. And then, you know, the price, right? 129,000 coins. You can see very, very disliked in this card. So unless you're running a Bundesliga team, if you're a Leipzig fan, this one might be a pass. With all the other great SBCs that are out right now, I think it's the price that is turning people away from that SBC. Also, yesterday, we, we did have a new pack in the store. And other than that, it was a pretty quiet day, a pretty quiet Saturday. I think they dropped, was it this 175k pack? Yeah, so... Uh, pack in the store, nothing too major there. Now, the big content was actually the market crash, which I want to talk about because I lost some coins yesterday, guys. Yesterday, like we said in the intro, looked like a good day to be trading. I bought these in Kunkus at 23,000 coins. I'm glad that I sold them when I did because he is even way lower now than that as prices yesterday just dropped off like crazy. We woke up yesterday, right? There was a bit of a market rise, as we mentioned, maybe a slight rise, but I expected that to continue a little bit until content and then maybe drop as we've seen on most Saturdays recently. But in the early morning hours, actually it was right around the start of like the Liverpool Everton game, prices just started to get destroyed. This is the index 100 and foot bin. And you can take a look at some of these cards that have dropped off crazy amounts and Kunku being one of them 17,000 coins for this card after he was 25k yesterday so I bought it 23 right here I was like all right he's gonna go up to like 26 27 right he started to and then absolutely hanked and it got even worse into the late night hours today now the biggest question with this is why are these card prices dropping off so much why are all these players like Christopher and Kunku, Musiala going from what did he go? 23,000 coins all the way to 17K, and now he's 16,000 coins. Why are all these cards dropping, and what cards are dropping the most? Well, I found a little bit of a trend with this, guys. Most of the cards that are dropping right now on the market 
are golds and a lot of them are kind of like meta golds that people have been using inside of their teams and i have to just wonder if the pack weight this weekend was a lot better than we really let on or really noticed maybe but also think about the market that we have had in the past let's say i don't know five to six days we've had a market that has just gone up and up and now think about last week, we had prices go up on Monday. The prices were pretty stagnant until Thursday. They went up again Friday. They went up again in the morning. And we had some prices even rise yesterday on uh, Friday after content, even further amounts. And really, it just might have been all of that pent up supply. The demand couldn't meet the supply. And when the midday yesterday broke, you just started to see prices dip a little bit. And then I think what really accentuated the price drops even more is that you had a lot of investors like myself and a lot of people I think were investing for the same sort of market rise that we had seen on normal Saturdays and instead what we saw were prices absolutely getting demolished, right? I bought Musiala's at 21K and sold them for 19, right? Lost some coins there. I bought a bunch of Di Lorenzo's for like 11,000 coins. I sold some of them at 13 with shadows and then I sold a lot of them at 12, right? So I was, you know, breaking even, losing on tax on a lot of cards yesterday because of how much these dropped off. And I think what made it a bit worse was a lot of those that were investing, right? I saw so many cards and I actually still do see so many cards on the market that are people that are just trying to like sell their investment right if you take a look at some of the musialis here like this card has no games played on it two owners we look at this all the time right another one this one has two games played on it but a lot of these cards that are listed up with no chem style on it and no games played with two owners it just tells me that this card was invested in he was purchased and you know people are panic selling that card and when we saw the massive price drop-offs during the day yesterday like this there were so many cards that were getting undercut right there. So I went to sleep right here, didn't list high enough to get the sale. I mean, he only went up 2K. I wasn't going to list for 23 after buying for 21. Like, no way. I had my Musiala's listed for like 25 or 26,000 coins. So I ended up selling like right here, I think. Right when I woke up, I got out because I knew he was going to go lower. And he did. Now, the question is... Is it going to happen again today? Because prices dropped off, like we said, 25% on a lot of these cards. Look at some of the biggest drop-offs. 28% on Nkunku, 27% on Musiala, 23% on Diaby, St. Maximin dropped a bunch, Rodrigo, Jolinton, Araujo, Tomori. Again, guys, notice the common trend here. Gold cards. Gold cards are the ones that are down the most. Really quick before we continue into that, yes, there were some of the Trailblazers cards that dropped as well, but that's normal for a Saturday, right? Like Harry Kane went from 430K down to 370. He went back up, and he was actually 450, went down to 370, went back up to 420 after content since it was a quiet day, and is now back down to 370. But that's kind of, that's normal for a brand new promo card to be dropping. I did mention that in yesterday's video. I, I bought two Robertsons. I didn't sell them in time. I ended up taking a loss because his price never really went up. He just like went down, right? Ward Prowse from 50K to 35. Kubo, 50 to 35K. Um, Rafael Leal from like 1.4 to 1.1 mil. Marquinhos down. Ronaldo's down a couple hundred K. Sophia Smith down. Cancelo down. Like that's normal for these cards. It was the gold cards that got hit the most. And also if I take a look at the out of packs market, this is the safest place to be right now. If you're trying to trade on this game, watch these cards, out of packs, in forums, road to the knockouts, especially today as we get a lot of potential content that could move the market. Watch this space because this is going to be a safer place to be trading, buying and selling cards because they still fluctuate. They're still moving up and down a decent amount on the market. And, you know, you don't have to worry about them getting packed or you don't have to worry as much about their supply and stuff like that, which I think is making these this a, a safer place to play, right? Coman goes between like 163 and 175 each and every day. You know, you snipe him at 160 when he's 163, sell him at 175. That's some good profit for an everyday flip. Sterling, I think, is usually 65. Uh, he's down a little bit right now. What did he do yesterday? He was between 62, 64. So right now he's at 60K. That's the sort of stuff that if you're trying to trade, I would trade with right now. So the question really is, is the market going to continue to crash today? Are we going to see prices continue to drop or is stuff going to actually rebound back up? Because we do have squad battle rewards today. That is the question that we have to answer, guys. And to be honest with you, after the big drop-offs that we saw, 
I, I'm feeling skeptical, right? That's the best way I can describe it is I don't know if I'm going to be trading too much today with gold cards, especially as we head into squad battle rewards. Usually on Sundays, I'm looking at buying gold cards for a rise and maybe they do go up today, but still with all of the selling that's been going on and prices that have been dropping, like look at Varan, Varan 78k, Usman's 144, Teo is 80k, he was 90 um, Rudiger's 44,000 coins. Neymar's down. Tonali is down. It's it's the gold cards, guys, that are down the most. I think I might just steer clear of them today, especially because of what we have coming for us today in terms of anticipation. It's all about that icon pack today. So if you want to risk it a little bit, what I would tell you to do is try to find some of these gold cards that, you know, maybe had a couple fluctuations yesterday or like we looked at on the graph, there were some that started to move up, right? I think Diaby was one. He went from 29K, yeah, he was like 31. He didn't really move that much. Uh, Kingsley Coman actually was one, his goal. I know we mentioned the inform, but Kingsley Coman's gold card is one that went up a good amount. He went from 21K to 24 and then went down to 17, we, like cards that have more fluctuations like this, maybe he has enough of a fluctuation to make coins on today. But, you know, I would be very careful with the gold today, guys. I really think it might just be best to sit with your coins liquid until we get to content today to see what happens with this icon pack before we go crazy on making some buys. And maybe we look at today on Sunday as a good day to buy for a potential market rise on Monday, right? And Mondays are usually the days where we see some prices Go up a bit further so we'll talk about that as well but let's talk about this sunday content let's get into the details about this max 87 base icon because today is the day that everybody expects this to be and with good suspicion because last week on this day we had the 87 rated hero pack right that was a pack that was very looked forward to people invested in fodder fodder went up for that because it was such a great sbc and it was very cheap i think that was the key to the hero pack last week and i think a lot of people expect this icon pack to be cheap this week as well but i don't know if it's going to be as good of value with what is packable from it again we've looked at this guys the list of icons that is packable here, they're not bad. And it's so early on in the game that if you hit somebody like Seedorf, Crespo, Suker, Gattuso, they've all got playstyle pluses. They all link like old icons back in the day used to, right? Not like the FIFA 23 chem system. These actually provide chem to your team. There's hype for a lot of people for a lot of these icons. But if this SBC costs more than like 100k today... I think people are going to see it and be like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that for the cards that are available. So honestly, guys, fodder today, I think fodder actually has a chance of going down because yesterday when all of these other golds were dropping in price, what didn't drop that much? Fodder. I mean, it dropped a little bit, right? From 42K down to like 40K for these 89 rated cards. I think these cards could dip off a little bit, especially on the higher tier, because I think today really a lot of the hype for an SBC like this would be on the lower tier, guys. I mean, think about it. 100,000 coin SBC, it's probably going to be cheaper cards like 85s and 86s that a lot of people have invested in, by the way, that would go up today if this SBC is good value. And you can see these 86s, they didn't move really yesterday. They were between 10 and 11,000 coins, which is where they exactly are right now. I'm just a little worried that the SBC may not seem hyped today because of, again, what's in it and the price. So I'd be careful with fodder. I think we're kind of nearing maybe the end of the fodder huge crazy spike that we have had as we've had a lot of great SBCs that dropped last weekend. We had all week to do those, and now it's, it's maybe falling off a little bit, just a little. We'll have to see, but... I'm a little skeptical with the fodder, guys. So if you're invested in it right now, if you want to sell on the hype, you can. Or if you want to wait for an SBC like this and hope that EA make it 75K and that people are excited for it and want to do it. I mean, let's be honest, guys. An icon pack is always hype. But this icon pack is one that I've, you know, even on the game right now, the way that prices are moving, like last week with the heroes, in anticipation for the hero SBC, prices were dropping. Look at Makalele. Since this leak has come out, that this packs in the code, which I think happened Tuesday or Wednesday, he's been between 570 and like 600,000 coins. He hasn't even dropped. His price is about exactly the same that it was uh, since this hero pack has been leaked, right? And last week, what you saw were hero cards dropping in price. Let's check Petit. Yeah, a lot of the icons, like the market, has just been going up and up and up this past week, and they haven't been panic sold. But remember last week, guys, heroes like Alawayrin were being panic sold after the leak of the SBC. It was down, 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 down. And then when the SBC came out, 
those cards went up a lot because, of course, you didn't pack Alawayrin last week. Very few people did. He went from 400k to like 480,000 coins in a day's time because of the hero pack being cheap and people went back to the market to buy their heroes. I'm honestly not expecting icons to like explode in price today. I know that was a thing that happened last year with the first um, icon pack that was released as well, but I just don't see I don't see it happening because there's no panic right now on a lot of these icons. So if there's no panic, then who's going to be going back out to the market and buying them? Now there could be icons that do go up in price a little bit. I'm not saying that there's going to be a zero bounce back because there are definitely some people anticipating this icon SBC today and probably going to want to go out and buy a few cards after it. I'm just not seeing expecting to see as crazy of a rise as we did last week on the heroes. So along with that content today, which is definitely the biggest part of content, um, which could be today. I mean, technically, guys, the icon pack could not come today as well. If EA really wanted to hold out, they could not release it today. We have a flashback SBC that has been leaked for Iago Aspas, which to me... I don't know if there's ever been a really good Iago Aspas SBC or card in the game that hasn't been fodder. This guy's always kind of looked at as fodder, and I hope EA give him a decent card, but I don't have high hopes. I can't lie. He's an 85 rated card this year. He doesn't have terrible stats. He's got the Chip Shot Playstyle Plus, Finesse, Deadball, Incisive, and Truvella. So decent playstyle pluses for a striker or maybe even if you wanted to play him at like center attacking mid. He's three star skills, four star weak foot, high, high work rates, left footed. I mean, if they were to give him like, like this card looks, if they were to give him those stats and make it like the same price as Javi Simons, then there would be some hype for La Liga. But I don't know if EA is going to juice up the card that good. Hopefully they give him some pace. A lot of times with slower slash middle tier pace players, they boost up the pace on a flashback. Maybe they drop his shooting a little bit. Who knows? But that could be an SBC that comes today. And then of course, we've got a mini release coming in packs today. Mares is probably the only card that anybody's looking forward to out of the mini release today. I think it's going to be Mares, Golovin, Tuma, and Vera. So basically three fodder cards in Mares. So that's kind of the content, honestly, today in a nutshell is going to be carried by the hero or sorry, the icon pack. That's really going to carry the content today. And I think there's so much hype built on it that if it disappoints in any which way, I think it's actually going to make some prices on fodder drop. And if it's really not good content today, then you probably won't see prices drop that much around the rest of the market. I'm sure you'll see some prices dip on the promo cards that are in packs, Trailblazers 2s. I think there will be opportunities late Sunday night to buy some cards, but I think everybody expects today to be a massive day. And it could be, right? EA could drop this icon pack, and it could be a lot of fun because it's 75,000 coins, and at least then when it's that cheap, it's worth your shot at Petit, Rykard, Makalele, Essi, and Fernando Torres, right? Even if you pack like Luis Hernandez, you're pretty stoked for a 200k icon, or Seedorf is a still a really solid card. So we'll just have to see what that SBC brings us today and how much price it is, how much it costs, and how much hype it brings to content for sure today. But yesterday was an absolute wild day. I made up some of those coins by trading, like I said, out of pack specials and icons guys about this hugo sanchez at 400k about this at 360 no 350 something uh so not ma amazing flips here like i made 15k or something on that and you know like a 10k there like not amazing flips by any means but it's positive coins on a day where a lot of other cards dropped off so i would stick to the rare out of packs cards heroes icons and team of the weeks that are out of packs trading today on this game and if we do have some big drop-offs then i would feel a bit more comfortable sunday night tonight maybe getting into some buys for a potential rise post weekend league rewards on monday but that's going to be the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the twitch stream today it's been nathan account and catch you guys there peace out